People ask me all the time, who's your hero in the Bible? Some may say David, others Isaiah, or Matthew, John, Peter, da 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 I would say Mary of Bethany is one of my greatest uh, examples and people that I want to be like in the Word of God outside of Jesus. Why? We only see her three times. Every time that we see her, she's at Jesus' feet. Every time Jesus defends her. And at the very last time in Mark 14, what she did and taking her alabaster flask and breaking it over Jesus, the Bible says that what she did will live as an eternal memorial forever. She took the equivalent of her 401k, broke it over Jesus, and says, I'm going to partner with you in the offensive uh, a mission that you have called dying for the sins of the world. She got Jesus. She learned Jesus. She learned his love language. She learned his mission. She fell in love with him. We don't ever hear about her ever again in Scripture. People in the book of Acts will give a, give a lot more. People in the future will do a lot more. There will be people with big anointed ministries, big apostolic ministries, lots of big stuff going on. But this girl got a hold of the ancient secret in the heart of God. And she just got it. And she got in before it was cool with everybody else. <laughs> she saw Jesus before anybody else did. She prioritized the things that mattered to Jesus before anybody else saw her, saw him. And I'm like, God, that's what I want. And Mary in this first picture, and I could walk you through there are three stories. But in Luke 10, Jesus comes into the house with the disciples. They're hungry. They need needs met. And Martha is going to take care of those needs. But Mary does something revolutionary, something completely uncustomary of the day. She says, I have God in my house. The Son of God is in my house. And I refuse to miss this window of opportunity And the Bible says that she sat at his feet and she heard his word. I have found 20 years walking with the Lord that the devil will let Christians do a lot of stuff. You want to put hell on notice? If you want to begin to shake the gates of hell, begin to stir things all around you, begin to prioritize a time and a place with an open Bible and an open heart, and begin to say, Jesus, you speak first, and I will show up every day to this place. And I will show up every day to this time. And I won't let any amount of money talk me out of this. No amount of open doors talk me out of this. No amount of betrayal and offense and hardship talk me out of this. But that I will show up, and I will swim against and declare war on the God of distraction, the God of anxiety, the God of busyness, the God of worry. The God of the cares of this life. And I will listen to you speak. That's what will put hell on notice. That's what will begin to shake the gates of hell. As you throw yourself in the furnace of transformation. Where God's word begins to peel back the layers. From all the other voices that we live on. All the other things that tell us we're successful by doing this, tell us we're not by doing that, and we live in all of the swirl of seduction. And yet there's a voice that's beckoning you saying, I want you to look me in the face. I want to make eye contact with you. 